What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Yardman leaf vacuum and mulcher and the problem is that after taking it out of storage it simply will not start. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we try and repair this leaf vacuum and mulcher however it may not be the exact repair you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. Now this vacuum sits all year long only to be used once when all the leaves have fallen from the trees. There's absolutely no use for it otherwise. Now you could use the chipper for green branches but that doesn't happen very often. Now the reason you should use a leaf vacuum over just raking is that it will reduce the size from 10 to 1. Basically it means that you end up with 5 heavy bags of leaves versus 50 lightweight bags. Unfortunately we don't have to worry about that until we get this thing running again. Now the engine was ran dry last year so the tank was empty when fresh gas was put into it recently. Also make sure that you check the oil every time you use your equipment especially if you use them very infrequently. Well there's plenty of oil in it so let's prime the carburetor and try pull starting it. Now if it doesn't start then we'll check to see if it's just a priming issue or if it's a gas or carburetor problem. So since it didn't start, we'll use some starting fluid to see if the engine will even run. Now if it starts and continues to run, then there might be a priming problem. Now if it starts, runs, and then dies, then there's a problem with the carburetor or even the gasoline. So it looks like the carburetor might be the problem. So let's take the bowl nut and the bowl off to look at the jet and if the float is working properly. Also remember to mark the bowl so that the bowl can be put back in the same orientation. So here's the jet and we need to make sure that all the holes are clear. There's a large hole that goes all the way through the jet and a tiny hole right above the threads and one in the middle of the jet. Use a small bare wire to poke the holes clear. You could use some carburetor cleaner and some compressed air if you didn't want to accidentally change the size of the hole. Now strangely enough the jet is clear so there might be a problem with the float not allowing any gas to enter the carburetor. Let's take off the bowl and check on the float and make sure it's okay. I think I see our first problem though. It looks like there was some stale gas in the line that made its way to the carburetor and that's why the engine wouldn't start. After checking that the float isn't stuck, let's open the gas valve and then flush out the rest of the stale gas that's in the fuel lines. You can actually see the color of the gas change from an orange color to a pale yellow. After the gas has changed color, turn the valve off and then reinstall the bowl. If you don't have a gas valve, then you can use some locking pliers to do the same thing. Another reason why your vacuum might not be starting is that the float is actually stuck in the closed position. Now to fix that you'll need to remove the carburetor from the engine and then figure out why it's stuck. Most of the time it's old varnished gas which can be cleaned out with carb cleaner and a soft brush. And now that it's all back together, let's turn on the fuel valve and then try starting it.
Now I did cut out about three minutes of running time so you don't have to watch, but I want the oil to be warm so I can change the oil. Now this machine is only used once a year, but it's ran for at least a couple of hours and I want to make sure the oil is in good shape for it. So my question is, do you pick your leaves up or do you mow them into your lawn? Or are you the type to say, just leave them right where they're at? I know what I would do, but I'm more curious about your answer. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.